Hey, it's Jody Jody Taylor of Snacky Says. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast, the Snacky Says Podcast. Uh, today I am doing best of, best of November 2023. It's been a year since I recorded an episode entitled Best of November 2022. So it's high time that I do another one, right? Maybe I'll do this every year. So in this episode, I'm just gonna be sharing, like I did last year, the best experiences, products, etc., that I have been loving lately. Um, let's get into it, not in order of importance. Number one, ball aluminum cups. These are recyclable party cups. I have the 20 ounce size. I think for a pack of 12, it's like six bucks. Um, I got mine from Target, so that's the link. Oh, it's $5.29. Ooh, and there's currently deals going on. We can save 20%. I'm going to get some more, so let me click on that. <laughs> I'll save 20%. So, so far, I think I've used, I've used them and washed them and used them again, but probably not more than three times. Because they're aluminum, I think they can be used far more than three times. That's just the amount of times I happen to use each one, I think. Um, Let's see, so for five bucks or $5.29, unless they're on sale, you're gonna get 10 cups in a pack. I prefer these for a few reasons. Number one, with plastic cups, I'm never quite sure if they can be recycled, right? So if you go out and you have your cup with you, can you just put it in a recycle bin? Will it be recycled? It depends on where you live. Some areas, maybe they'll allow you to recycle um, bottles, but not a cup, not a single use cup. So I like this because I know 150% for sure I can recycle it. It's aluminum. It's just like a can of tuna without the tuna because you're going to recycle it (laughs) or like my sparkling water cans. I feel so relieved that I can recycle it and I'm not wondering if it's ending up in, um, a landfill. So those are the reasons why I like it. I also like the size. I don't usually drink out of a 20 ounce cup, but I don't know what I don't know what it is about the size of this cup. I tend to finish what I put in it. And with smaller cups, I'll just like leave the cup around with the the drink half finished. Oh, let me tell you something else about this cup. It's aluminum, so don't put anything hot in it. You're just going to burn your hand. And it, there are warnings on the package. Um, so you're not going to put it in the microwave, of course. Um, yeah, those are two important things that I think you should know about those cups. Next up, I want to talk about a white noise machine. I just got it, um, I guess the day before, yes. No, I got it. Well, it was delayed, blah, blah, blah. I got it yesterday. I had the best sleep that I, I, (laughs) oh my gosh, this is the best sleep that I've had in weeks, in weeks. I had a white noise machine back in the day and it was just white noise. This one, I put it on the summer night, um, how can I say, the summer night choice feature selection. They're like the button, they're six buttons, um, rain, brook, thunder, white noise, ocean, and summer night. I put it on summer night and I was reading And yo, I woke up four o'clock this morning, refreshed, okay, refreshed. I couldn't believe that I slept through, I feel like a a baby. I slept through the night. I've been having issues sleeping. That's a whole other story we don't have time for right now, but I might get into it in the future. So I've been having trouble sleeping and staying asleep. But thanks to this machine, it's only been one night, but I don't care. I'm ready to recommend it to you. Um... It's from the Big Red Rooster store. I wish I didn't recycle the box because then I could tell you if that was the company. Oh, yeah, that is the company name. That's that's the brand name. Big Red Rooster. I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, Highly recommend it. I'm going to circle back and talk about this in a few weeks or or a few months. It's already a game changer, so I want to recommend it now. Um, Next up... So I've spoken about study with me videos in the past... Um, I stumbled upon Yulma, Y-U-L-M-A. I stumbled upon her YouTube channel. I guess it's been a few months now. I don't think I mentioned her when um, I spoke about study with me videos, I believe in the newsletter. I'm just going to check in real time and let you know which newsletter it was. Oh, it was a recent, fairly recent newsletter, the June 2023 Snack He Says newsletter. Uh, I'm just going to check and see if I mentioned her back then. 
I think it's all the way at the end, right? Let's see. Yep. No, I didn't mention her. Okay, but I'll put the link to this newsletter in the show notes. Um, I love these videos. I put them on when I need to concentrate or work on something, or maybe I'm studying Chinese. And so Yulma's YouTube channel, I just typed in study with me and because I like to discover. <laughs> Am I discovering she already existed? I like new to me study with me YouTube channels. Um, I like when she plays fireplace sounds. Um, sometimes she mixes it with rain. The link in the show notes is just going to be the fireplace sounds. I, I just find it kind of calming and I'm also able to focus. Uh, so that's that. One, two, three things I've mentioned so far. UN Nin. I'm probably mispronouncing her name. You may have seen her YouTube shorts. I don't know if I've posted any of them in my newsletter. The Snacky Says newsletter, but she's hilarious. Hilarious. Um, she's a Vietnamese, Vietnamese woman living in Germany with um, her fiance. And um, this short she's talking about winter, I just felt this in my soul. She's like, I'm not worried about winter. Winter's coming. It's going to be cold all the time. And she's smiling. And like there are these tears going. This is comedy. She's not like really crying in real life. Um, but I, I just felt it in my soul. It, it, it was funny, but I, I, I could also see me like laugh crying this winter, trying to get through another season of holiday blues and winter in January, which is always a bad luck month for me, except January 2024. I'm going to figure something out. Listen to me, universe. Hear my words. Um, so anyway, it's really funny. I'm not doing it justice. The link is in the show notes. Please check it out and watch it. And last but not least, cat's spa treatment. Shout out to the YouTube algorithm. I don't know why this popped up on my YouTube, in my YouTube feed, but I loved it. It's ASMR and it's literally, it looks like a dog. It's a cat spa. It looks like the dog is getting the treatment. It was so soothing and so on point. And it just made me want to be in a spa and get all of these treatments and relax. It's animated. It's very cute. Check it out. So that's it. That is the best of for November, for November 2023. I'll see you next year with another best of. In the meanwhile, I'm working on some other episodes that are be that will probably all come out before December. Um, I want to chat about, I want to do like a mini course roundup. I want to talk more about digital comics. I've spoken about them a couple of times. Um, I usually, I only ever talk about webtoons, but since the last time I chatted about digital comics, I've started reading digital comics on another app called Tapas. So I'll probably talk about the differences between them and the digital comics that I recommend from each app. What else? Of course, I'm going to be talking about working out. Um, probably before the end of the year, I'll be talking about staying fit in the run up to the holidays. Last year, I ate my way up by March, no, by February, um, a little bit of a, okay, a significant weight gain was like 13 pounds, but that's neither here nor there. So I'll be chatting about, um, those things in the coming months, probably before the end of the year and much more. I have other episodes planned. I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time to listen in on the podcast. Um, we are officially over 7,000 downloads, which is like so cool because we hit a thousand downloads in August and I'm recording this in November, 2023. So I'm super happy. I'm super happy that you are listening, that you're here, whether it's your first time or you've been listening since day one, you are appreciated. If you enjoyed this podcast episode or any of my podcast episodes, you can um, check me out at jody.substack.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E dot substack dot com. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and please share with a friend or three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.